Hey, what's good everyone? It's Inu here back from the video and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own rocket logo on Android. So I think it looks really cool. So I would like to share with you guys how to make it. Obviously, we are going to be using this app, which I'm using, which is called Photoshop Touch. If you guys don't have it, the link will be in the description below as always. So once you guys done that, go ahead and create a brand new project. The resolution has to be 1000 per 1000. If you guys would like to go even higher, go ahead and do it. But for this video, um, I think 1000 per 1000 is actually pretty enough. So so the next step is to go ahead and just import on Photoshop Touch wherever background you find. Uh, like it can be anything, but because this video is about rockets and stuff like this, I thought I would actually use this one. It have stars and stuff like that. So it's basically actually related to rockets. Anyways, you can go ahead and just mix two backgrounds. For example, this shockwave right over here. You can place it wherever you want. For example, here, and you can mess around with the blending option. You can just choose overlay or lightning, or I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to difference. And you can go ahead and just slow down the opacity so it's going to be kind of transparent and there you go so i think i'm actually happy with this so once you guys are actually done with that go ahead now and just import your uh letter the, the first letter from your name my name is sinu so this is c go ahead and just transform it and put it somewhere down below right over here so we are going to be needing to work with the space above so basically i'll leave the link in the description below you can guys download this rocket png file right over here by the way all the files that i used in this tutorial will be down in the description below to download so basically as you can see right over here we need an eraser to erase the this parts right over here because it actually don't need it so remove this steam that is like coming out of the frame so go ahead and just remove it using the eraser and if you find like the eraser really sharp you can go ahead and always change the brush uh, options and you can get a perfect uh, kind of brush to erase the steam so i think i'm done right now so go ahead now and go to the paint tool go ahead and make sure that it have the exact same color of your very own steam and just go ahead and colorate around and make sure that the brush is actually perfect so make sure that the 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 hardness is not too high so go ahead and just make sure that it's kind of low and as you can see right over here we have this steam effect so go ahead and make sure that it kind of look like uh, clouds and stuff like that so as you can see i'm going to color it and make sure that you kind of blend it in with the letter of uh, your very own name and as you can see it's looking pretty good and you can guys always go ahead and just uh, erase stuff so if you made any mistakes you can actually erase it and you can go ahead and just merge down the rocket with the letter so we need this and you can go ahead and just center this thing that we just made so you can make it in the center that's kind of important and if you guys would like to put it on the bottom I really don't suggest you to do that but if you want to go ahead and do it but in the center it's a perfect area so now uh, you can go ahead and just do a simple trick for example you can go ahead and just use for example this message uh, this uh, sorry this photo right over here we can just uh, kind of scale it up right over here and hit on this blue check mark button right now and you can just adjust it wherever you guys you want so once you are done go ahead and select the c letter hit on this button and hit on select pixels go ahead and go back to the background and hit on this pen hit extract which is this option right over here and you should be having something like this so now you can go ahead and just uh, mess around with the blending make sure off. you set it to difference and once you guys are done you will end up having a texture like this so for me i really need to need to erase this area right over here because it's looking ugly but if you end up having a better texture or colors than mine you can just uh, like stick with it and you don't have to erase it but for my circumstance i need to erase it and you obviously need to change the color that if you guys don't love, love the colors so as you can see i'm going to just slow this down and yeah i think i'm going to stick with blue just like this and you can just go ahead and just spend some time just trying to get a perfect color of your choice so i'm actually fine with this and here we go guys we are we end up having something like this so this is not that creative i'm going to kind of add some more options or more uh, things into it for example guys you can go ahead now and just add a drop shadow if you if you guys want that so it's going to pop it's going to make the layer kind of pops even more so it's going to be more visible and i think that looks pretty good as you can see right over here i really like it so i'm going to hit on check mark button and for now i think i'm good with the logo so it's the time to add some things to kind of blend in the logo with the environment so as you can see i have this green screen stars it's also going to be down in the description below if you guys want 
want it you can get it from there so as you can see i'm going to remove uh, remove the green screen and i'm going to be using the uh, eraser to erase around just like this and as you can see now the logo looks like it's actually blend in with the space which is something really important so if you guys would like to add more things you can go ahead and add an empty layer and just give it a gradient for example you can choose this gradient right over here and once you guys are actually done go ahead and give it an overlay blending option and you can go ahead and just change the uh, the ba color balance and as you can see you can change it to whatever you want it's give it more depth i guess so if you guys would like to use this i really do suggest you to use it so as you can see it give uh, our logo even more uh, kind of creativity and there you go guys this is the logo if you guys would like to add anything uh, else i don't really mind it so you can go ahead and just use whatever you want for example i have this uh, this background right over here I think it looks really cool so I'm going to be adding a overlay blending option and as you can see it's looking really really good so I really do like this and you are actually not limited with the amount of creativity you can go ahead and add more things and more customizations and you just go ahead and try some random things and I'm pretty sure that you guys will be having an even better logo than this so I think this kind of wraps up the video guys thank you so much for watching this video I really hope that you guys did find this video helpful and if you did go ahead and just drop a like down below i would appreciate it and also guys check my channel out because it is a lot of amazing and daily videos in there subscribe to my channel if you didn't join me already and i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video peace out